With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is in the following equations, find which variables x, y and z etc represent a rational or irrational numbers. Okay. So basically here we have give the given question in three parts. In all the three parts we have to find that which equation is represent a rational or which equation is represent a rational number. So we will solve one by one. So first part here we have given v square is equals to 3. Okay. So when we will take a square root then v will be it will be v equal to square root 3 okay if any value which is given in the square root and it is not a square of any number then that particular number will be irrational number okay so if we take an example so if we have given square root 4 okay so here we know square root 4 is a square of a 2 okay so here square root will be cancelled out with 2 and finally here it is remaining 2 so this is basically rational number so if a value which is in the square root and it is also a square of any number then this particular number will be a rational number a rational number and if the given number in a square root it is not a square of any number then that particular number will be irrational number so here it is a square root 3 it will be irrational irrational number okay and the second part which we have given h the second part is given is w square is equals to 27 okay so if we take a square root then it will be w equals to square root 27 okay so w equal to square root if we talk about the 27 then we can also write it as a 3 into 3 into so here we can see is 3 into 3 it is a pair so we can write a 3 square okay so w we can take a common 3 from the square root then it will be 3 square root 3 okay so here it is also a square root so this particular number is not a rational number it is a basically irrational number okay irrational number and the third number which we have given that is a t square third part is given t square is equals to 0. Point okay so if we solve this then it will be when we will take a square root then it will be t is equal to square root 0 0.4 okay so here if we remove this decimal from here then it will be divided by 10 and this 10 will be also in a square root okay so here t equals to square root 4 upon 10 okay so if we simplify this number then it will be t equals to here 2 2 is a 4 and 2 5 is a 10 then it will be square root 2 upon 5 okay so the given number is in square root okay and the given number is not a square of any number so this number is also a irrational number okay so in the given question the given question is given in three parts so all the three parts all are irrational number okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.